Amazing, like not even the rain could stop us. Everyone was vibing and uh, for me Extrema, as uh, Uber knows, it's one of my favorite festivals in Belgium. So happy to be here again. Right here at Extrema Outdoor 2022 with the one and only Furcoat, who had just been playing the print work stage yeah. uh, here at District 5 at Extrema. How was that? Amazing. Like, not even the rain could stop us. Everyone was vibing. And uh, for me, Extrema, as uh, Uber knows, is one of my favorite festivals in Belgium. So happy to be here again. So it was a crazy experience. Like, the rain came down on us like... It was insane, but here you had like a nice yeah. overhead, the crowd was going crazy. Yeah, yeah. That I must thought, have felt great. I thought it was, uh, I was scared because like, okay, is the people going out, like, but with the roof, everybody came, so yeah. couldn't ask for a better uh, situation. Yeah. So how has it been touring the last couple of months? It's like a crazy feeling, right? Everything's totally... Back to normal. Back to normal, yeah. It's been like, for me, since last summer, like, it, it started like uh, picking up everything and there's been like some cancellations back and forth, but now we're like fully uh, full mode on. And uh, yeah, man, I have been in the States, I've been in Canada, I've been in South Africa and Europe. Can't complain. Yeah. Super happy. Does it feel different? Not at all. No? It feels like we're not this, this two years didn't happen. Okay, well, that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Did something good came out? Like, like I sense that a lot of people say that the crowd demands more from also the artists, from productions. Can you see that? Can you feel that? And how? how yeah, do you I, I, with that as an artist? I feel like people cherish more the the moments yeah. and uh, like everybody now it's like there's the, everybody wants to do the festivals. Everybody's holding tickets from past years, and there's like a lot of expectations of going out. And yeah. now we're going into summer and. I think this is the first summer is going to be like as, as we remember it. So uh, it's going to be like uh, really intense. And yeah, you can see it here. Like the vibe was just like nothing happened. Yeah. Even better. It just Even gets better. It just gets better. True. So you also represent, of course, your own label, Oddity. Yeah. Um, how is that going forward? It's amazing. Uh, it's been now since 2017 that I founded it. Um, it got uh, named by Beatport like top label of the of the month on Melodic House and Techno, and uh, yeah, I've been signing a lot of new artists, uh, established artists. I put stuff from myself, and uh, it's uh, a lot of work. But uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm happy like uh, with the feedback of the people, with the feedback of other DJs, and yeah, it's been like uh, that's the most important thing for me. Like uh, all these artists like having a platform to express themselves and uh, even myself and uh, curate it in the right way. Yeah. So how can you best describe the sound of Oddity? It's melodic house and techno. Yeah. Uh, it's quite special. I think like once you play a uh, record, I think now people are saying like this is Oddity or you know like yeah. it's got that, it's, uh, it's pretty like people, it's not that intense, but it's melodic and uh, it doesn't go that commercial like it's just for me the right balance in between yeah. both sides you know the specific th sounds that also matches your own yeah. vibe what you play on stage probably exactly what, what i play it has to for, for me the most important if i don't play it it doesn't it doesn't yeah. work yeah. what do you think the sound is evolving do you think like people being more experimental after these two years yeah i think uh probably some things going more uh s sideways like more commercial or more techno or more but yeah, there's always space for whatever sound people is producing. It's, it's about finding the right label and finding, a, I don't know, like a, the right group or niche that follows something, you know? Yeah. So how about touring? You're heading to Paris now, right? Yeah, I have a second festival tonight. I'm playing Marvelous Island with Remcourt back to back. And that's going to be the closing of the week. Last night I played London. And yeah, and then we continue the, the weekends going on. Crazy times ahead, man. It was so nice to see you. Thank you Good luck Thank in you. Paris. Good luck in Paris. <laughs>